guys, it's Brian the Shaving Geek here with another episode of My Shave of the Day. Today I was able to try out a couple of new products. Very excited to tell you about those, so let's get right to it. Now today I use my Owner's Club 2012. Uh, this is obviously not a new product. It's a, a brush that I've had for probably close to a year now. I got it from Busta and Epiphathon that he did. Uh, this is a great brush, mixed badger and boar, nice soft tips, great backbone. You've seen it many times, you've heard me talk about it, and you know I love it. Today was no exception, it worked very, very well. Today for my razor, I use my Executive Fat Boy. Uh, I run my Executive Fat Boy on a 4. I rarely ever change it from uh, the 4. I just find that to be uh, where I like it, and it provides me with a nice, comfortable shave. Today, for my blade, I tried out a new blade, a blade that I just picked up at Pasteur's on Friday, the Pole Silver, and I've been very excited, uh, looking forward to trying this blade, and so today I loaded up my fat boy and took it for a ride. Had a bit of a nick here underneath my lip and a couple of weepers over here on my cheek. I think that it was user error, I don't, I'm not going to blame the blade yet. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll keep an eye on it. The interesting thing for me is that the five pack of this, uh, of these blades cost $2.49. I also picked up some Rapiras. The Rapiras were buck seventy-nine for 10 and I hear a lot of people talk, uh, and, and talk very highly of the Rapiras. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they compare kind of side by side and then make a judgment as to whether or not I think they demand the premium price. I have here the Gillette Silver Blues that I also picked up at Pasteur's, and for a five pack there, a buck seventy nine. So still a little bit cheaper than those uh, Pole Silver. So it'll be interesting to to see how they perform for me. But uh, you know, looking forward to to kind of seeing how that all plays out. Uh, I didn't get quite as close of a shave as I've been getting from the Lord Platinums that I've been playing around with in, in my DE eighty nine. But again, before I you know judge the the um, uh, the pole silver against that. I want to try these in the DE89 and kind of see how how that all plays plays out. So uh, you know, overall, I was happy with the blade. Um, you know, based on the price point uh, and just one shave in again, just one shave. Uh, you know, I'm not ready to fall in love with them and and, and vault them to the top of my list. Um, I think there's some other blades that seemingly have worked better for me, but we'll see. Uh, you know, let me get a couple shaves into it, and then we'll we'll come up with a uh, with a with a final verdict, so to speak. For my soap today, I used a new soap uh, that's actually uh, from the uh, Shave Market Pass Around, the Dr. John Soap Work Pass Around. This is the second one that I've had, and this soap, folks, is a great soap. Uh, very, very impressed with the performance of this soap, um, and the scent on this is just great stuff. Uh, you can see it's a West Indies Bay Black Tea, uh, Dark Rum, and Lime. And let me tell you something, that all plays very, very well together. Woo! Very, very nice Bay Rum scent. And um, it, it definitely, I, I don't struggle to pick it up. It uh, is... Um, I'm very happy with the scent strength on this. Uh, the performance, like I said, was 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 very very good. Great cushion, great glide, and um, just very very impressed with the the soaps that Dr. Johns is is putting out. But in my opinion, kind of what uh, puts Dr. Johns maybe in a little bit of a different category than some of the other soaps out there are the labels. These labels, in my opinion right now, are the best in the business. Now I know that Douglas Smythe has been doing some great stuff with his labels, and I know that uh, Chris Collins got some great things coming down the pike with regards to his labels, but this is just a phenomenally labeled product. I, I just am very, very impressed with the labeling on Dr. John's. Um, but great labels, if it's a crappy product, doesn't make any make any sense. I'm happy to report that for me, the labeling matches, oops, I almost started peeling that off. The labeling matches the product. It's excellent. Uh, very, very good stuff. Highly recommend it. And uh, when I start buying some more soaps, right now I'm kind of on a little bit of a hiatus, although there is a soap coming out on the not too, dear, uh, not too distant future that I'm planning on buying. But when I decide to pick up some more soaps, Dr. John's is gonna be on, is definitely on my list of more so of some of the soaps to pick up. Very happy with this and uh, would recommend that you give it a whirl. Today for my aftershave, 
I used a product that I just picked up at uh, Pasteur's on Friday. I picked up the Captain's Choice Sandalwood. And let me tell you something, this is a phenomenal scent. I love this stuff. I didn't think I would. Now, from my understanding, Captain's Choice is a bay rum uh, base for all of their all of their um, aftershaves. I did not think that bay rum and sandalwood would play well together. Personally, I just didn't think that it would work. Let me tell you something. Does it ever? Woo! That is, as TSE says, awesome sauce. I love this stuff. Love it, love it, love it, love it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do right now? I love it so much. I'm going to slap some more on because it is good stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a great... I mean, that is just good stuff, folks. I am telling you right now, if you don't have this in your den, you're missing out. You need to buy Captain's Choice Sandalwood. Right now, pause this video, go to Maggard's, go to Captain's Choice, go, I don't even know who else is selling this. Italian Barber, whoever's selling this, find it, buy it. You will thank me later. Excellent stuff. I absolutely love it. Now, let's recap. Today I used my Samog Owners Club 2012. I used my Executive Fat Boy loaded with a Pole Silver Blade. First shave on that. I used the Dr. John's and Bonnie Bay Rum Scented Soap. Awesome stuff. Highly recommend that you give it a give it a whirl. Check it out. Uh, and uh, then I used this Captain's Choice Sandalwood. Phenomenal stuff. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Did I say I love it? Yes, I think I said I love it. This is Brian, the Shaving Geek, reporting live from my shaved den, wishing you a lifetime of happy shaves. Have a great day, everybody.